If this hasn't scared you away yet, then I've got some useful tricks for you to correct those mistyped commands. So let's say you type in something that's supposed to be sudo, but it's not sudo. You can go ahead and put a caret, the wonko tonko thing, and the right thing. So that's a search and replace, as in search for replace in specifically the last run command. Okay, great, you get how that works. Now, let's say you did the exact same damn thing, but you don't wanna have to type that in because who wants to practice muscle memory for that? Nobody does, so uh, the right answer is sudo and then an exclamation mark and a star. That says run sudo with the arguments of the previous command. Previous command, arguments of the previous command. Okay, but there's actually a lot of these like exclamation mark and then symbol things. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of those, but do that, I'm not gonna show you all of those. I'm gonna show you some of them. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Um, echo A, B, C, D. If we want the first element, we can do exclamation mark and then a caret. That's the element A. If we want the last one, it's, oh, rerun the above command. It's echo, exclamation mark, then a dollar sign. Okay, if we want the third element, the syntax is echo, exclamation mark, colon, three. And do note, that's not zero-based. It's literally going to be the third element. Ah, and that's because there is no third element, so it's rerun this and then rerun echo, pound colon, the third. Okay, last example, and it's probably the best one, or maybe most useful one, so if you remember any of these, just carry this out with you. Um, Let's let's pretend you're looking for a file. Uh, ls user share uh, Java. Oh, there's those jar files. You want to cd to this directory now. You don't have to retype out that path. That's silly, and you don't have to like. Up arrow, control A, delete cd. I mean, you can control A over there and do that, but. I would recommend that you just type in cd and then you hold the alt or the escape key and hit period. That will do a very similar thing to how the exclamation mark dollar sign behaved in our previous example. Uh, but you can continue to press and it'll toggle through more of the arguments. Uh, it's very useful and should save you a lot of typing. Thanks for watching. Bye.